Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I would like to talk about maps and how we can use uh, maps with multiple layers as filters for the whole dashboard. Now let's take it as an example this dashboard that I made some time ago. This is a dashboard with a KPI uh, that can change pro sales to profit to quantity. Okay, so this is the main feature of the dashboard and I would like to be able to click on this map and filter the rest of the dashboard. I do have uh, the location, so the three map layers in all of these sheets, so this should work. In addition to that, I want to quickly show you the layers. We have this image right here called layer control. And let me actually quickly go into this sheet and show you that you can change the names of these layers. So to make it more user friendly, in this case, I will change it from order.city to just city, and I will do the same with the rest. Uh, we'll change this into just state. Um, and then here, region. So this is a nice to know. And of course, um, with map layers, we can remove whatever layer we want. So if we want, we can look at just state or city or region. And this is something that um, it's nice to tell the user, because <laughs> I've done this before, and the end user didn't know where to find a layer. So it's nice, if possible, to show them how to use it. Just um, something to keep in mind. OK, so let's see. What I want to do now is use this map as a filter. As I said, I'm going to try with a quick fil filter first and see what happens. So we have a quick filter on. So in theory, if I click on the East region, the rest of the dashboard should be filtered out. But it doesn't happen. So this is the first problem. Um, and it doesn't happen with the other layers either. So now I'm clicking on a city. It also is not successful. So the solution I found to this, let me remove this quick filter, is to go here where it says dashboard and then actions. And instead of adding a quick filter from the view, I want to add a filter action from here. Uh, the source will be the map. So I'm just going to select map. Yeah, I want it to run when I click on it, so on select. And the target sheets are all the other sheets there we go. And when clearing the selection, I want all values to show. Now, if I uh, keep the settings like this, it will be more or less the same as having a quick filter. Um, what we want to add is this section down here. So I want to filter selected fields. And here I'm going to add now region. OK, let me call this region filter and click on OK. And now let's try again. And now it works. So let me show you with a bit more of the dashboard. It works for the whole dashboard. Let's try to filter with state. Nothing happens. Nothing happens because we have specified that we want the filter to run only on region. So I would like to show you a couple more options. Um, what, I, uh, what I understood works is to actually create a second filter for state and a third filter for city. Um, at first, I tried to do it all within here. Let's, oh, let's try with city. Um, Let's try just like this, just to show you. Um, it doesn't work. <laughs> I cannot explain why, but uh, the solution is indeed to create three different filters. So let me just go in here and remove this. Oh, oh no, I wanted to remove the other one, but let's add region again. So this stays as a region filter. I'm going to save it. And then I'm just going to create two more filter actions. This I'm going to call city filter and repeat the same, um, the same settings as before. Just here, we're going to choose selected fields and city and click on OK. And thirdly, we have, I think we had states. So I'm going to call this state filter 
and repeat the same settings for a third and final time. Unclick map and selected fields. There we go, state slash province. And okay, now let's test this and see, of course, the region works. Let's look at state. It works, fantastic. And also let's pick a city and this also works. So that's it, you guys. That's, um, it's a, I know it's a very specific tip. Uh, it's useful for me. Uh, it was useful for me to find out. I struggled with it a bit. So for the next person that doesn't know how to combine filter actions and map layers at the same time, here's a video for you. Uh, have a great day. See you next month.